Hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Once we've got the data into R, ready to do the first step of analysis, which is to look at plots and to, do, to look at the descriptive stats, otherwise known as summary statistics. Here's the menu for today's session. I'm going to show you how to obtain the summary stats for one variable when the data is contained in a vector and when it's in a data frame. Next, I'll show you how to obtain individual stats for observations in a vector and a data frame. Then I'll show you how to obtain individual stats for subsets of variables in a data frame. This is because we can't always, the, st the stats do not always make sense for all types of variables. Uh, next, summary stats by factor and group and finally we'll finish off with showing you how to obtain frequency table which is applicable when we have factors. Okay, first summary stats for one variable in a vector. So let's create a vector. How do you obtain summary stats? We use the summary command will give us a set of them. So it gives us the minimum value, minimum value is 10. It gives us the first quartile, being 15 here, which means 25% of the observations below 15. Median, so 50% of observations below and above. So here, since there are five observations, that's the center one, that's the third one. So two below, two observations above. The mean average of this, I add them all up, divide by one, two, three, four, five of them, five observations. Third quartile, that's a uh, the observation which 75% of the data below that value so since there are five observations here 25 here is the third quartile and then the max value you can obviously see it's 30 so that's what it gives us it doesn't give us the standard deviation but the standard deviation I'll come to that in a moment next I want to turn to how we can obtain similar summary stats but where we have a data frame so here we look at the data frame contained in our tooth growth data three variables length which we note is continuous sup is nominal it has two levels VC and OJ and dose the third variable here is ordinal it comes in half one and two okay doesn't matter what these things mean just know that length is continuous, sup is nominal, categorical, dose is categorical and ordinal. To obtain the summary stats when we have a data frame, we do we use the summary command again. Name of the data frame, comma, and then just type summary. Let's see what we get. Oops, that's not right. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake in my code. You simply type summary and the name of the data frame and now it gives us by columns the stats so length it gives us the one two three four five stats the five point summary stats OJ only gives us the the number of observ the counts here so it's 30 OJ 30 VC it doesn't give us the other ones because it doesn't really make sense for nominal variable dose this is ordinal and sometimes can treat as continuous it gives us those stats so that's the thing so showing you how to obtain summary stats for uh, data contained in a vector and for when it's in the data frame next one to show you how to obtain individual stats individual stats for observations in a vector first we type the command the stat command followed by the name of the vector so we can have mean here mean of x let's write down what x is again mean of that lot is 19.6 can also do it now obtain a standard deviation command for that's sd for standard deviation sample standard deviation that gives us this we can obtain the variance of x which is that 
or we can note that the variance is the square of the standard deviation so we take the exponent we square that figure 